Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Pokoyk and I work for Roadmap Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be talking about RayQC. RayQC is RayNet's quality control tool. With this tool, you can create checklists for executing and testing package criteria. With these checklists, you can make sure that all requirements are met for the applications using questions and plugins. RayQC also allows for export of checklists and for you to upload reports to Rayflow. Without further ado, let's jump right into RayQC. All right, here we are in RayQC. Here we are in the dashboard. As you can see on the right, we have our recent checklist that we've opened up for. And we have our open one where we can search for one, settings, about, or we're gonna come right here and click create a checklist. We have to choose where the checklist is gonna to save to. We get the documents. See, here's our checklist right now. It's just a group title and a description. So we're going to come down here and we're going to click on edit this checklist here in the bottom left. You can see we have a bunch of different options for plugins. And over here we just have a couple of elements that we can choose from. Up here we have properties. This is not too important. This is just the title, description, and the file name that we want. Go up here, we have supporting files. You can add in help files, which you can put into the checklist, images, and other resources. Here is where you can add your own plugins that you made. You can make it in PowerShell or DLL plugins. And post processing. All right. So we're just going to hit the drop down. We'll see that we have one element here, actually, under our group title here. Uh, just a description. It's automatically put there each time you make a new group. And we're actually going to come over here and make a new element. And we're just going to bring out a multi option. And we'll put the description as change these to a there you go. You can see it updated over here. And we can hit down here at the view checklist. And you can see it's now in there now. With the drop down, have a yes or a no option. Uh, let's add some more into this. So let's make it a little more interesting and we're gonna add in a plugin. All right, I'm gonna come back here to local system and we're going to get the plugin OS user name. Come back down here to look at the checklist again. And as you can see, since this is a plugin, I can actually automatically get this from the system itself. All we have to do is hit this button over here, and bam, it fills it in for you. Using PowerShell, it actually gets the name for you so you don't have to fill it out yourself. All right, let's say we only want to see this though if they like RayQC. So we come to this one, we're going to come back up to do you like RayQC, pull it into conditions on get OS name. And you can see do you like RayQC pops up here. You have the option of is or is not. We're going to choose is. And we're going to say they have to say yes if they want to see this next step. So now let's come back down to view this checklist. And we're going to restart it. It's just coming down here and hitting the reset button, which is just this back arrow with an X through it. As you can see, you can't see that third option now. So we're going to come up here and we're going to answer this question. Yes, we do like Ray QC. And bam, our third option pops up. And now we can fill that in again. And you can see right when I filled in the third question that this turned to a past checklist because we filled in everything and there's nothing left to complete so it passed if not everything's filled in it says not finished and we'll know. there we go and as you can see once I chose no that the third question didn't pop up all right coming back over here to our checklist well 
we really don't want this description. It's pretty useless to us. It just says description and everything. We're just going to right click on it and delete it. Confirm. There we go. Now, since this part actually only comes up with if you answer yes to this, we're going to say it's a part of it. So to make it a little more clear, we're going to put an indent up here by clicking this increase indent button. And now it's going to say it's question 1.1. 1 .1. And now you can looks a little nicer and looks like they belong together. All right, now let's add a new group. And we'll drag in a new group. And let's change the name. Something clever. And let's come up here and let's add in another plugin. We'll just check to see if it's a 64 bit system. We'll get rid of that. But now we also don't want this group to pop up unless they answer everything up here. So let's make a new condition. Same thing. Well, we want to say that you like Ray QC if you want to see the second group too. Here we go. You even get this, and we get group two also. And the same thing since it's a plugin, just hit click yes. Just click the uh, red arrow right here, and it'll check for you. And as you can see, it is a 64 bit system. Now that I've shown you all that, let's look at a real ch uh, checklist. All right, here's our fully made checklist now. You can see it's pretty long. I'm not going to go through all of it, but I wanted to show you some of this because some new features are in here that I couldn't show you in the other one. So let's come up to the first group, and you can see the first one is called Rayflow Connection. So we have to hook up our Rayflow uh, connection first before we do anything else. So we're going to come up to the Rayflow button, and we're going to log in. Alright, now let's run some of these plugins. Now we got all our information off of Rayflow. We got our user, the URL, and uh, we got the package that we're going to be using for these tests. So now, I really don't want to go through and click all these plugins. And there's no reason for me to. All I have to do is come up here, right click, and run plugins as a group. And there we go. It ran all of them for me. Complete. Now, this also has the ability to get some other things off of Rayflow for us, like this one. This one, we can get the product name, which as we saw earlier was Notepad++, which is the correct thing that I chose off there. It's product version, manufacturer, application path, and, and these are just a few of them. It's pulling all of these off of our Rayflow uh, workflow management tool that we have hooked up to it right now that I did at the beginning. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is something like this where you come down to a question like this, is it not product name correctly? And say you come up here and you're like, nah, it's not named correctly. So see, now we have, it changes to a light red and you have a failure comment. So you could put in, was named incorrectly. Into the comment section and that'll pop up later when you look at the post report. But you can also see down here that it shows you how much left you have to do. You have three void checkpoints and nine invalid data fields still left to go. And we still have the banner right here that says it's not finished. So the last thing I want to show you is the exported PDF. So let's come up here, hit File, Export, and let's do this as Microsoft Word document and just click export and we're just going to put this on the desktop. 
And here we go. This is our checklist report. As you can see, we had three void, one failed. And over here, it shows us that we had 13 okayed and 13 invalid that we didn't finish. And here's the same information I was showing you there at the bottom. It's, you know, we had three missing selections, checkpoints, and nine missing input fields. And we still have the banner of not finished because I didn't go through all of them. And here are our questions that we answered. Went through, and we come over here, we can actually see the one that I did that failed. And here's my comment that I made. So it even shows you here in the report at the end. And with that, that's everything I wanted to show you with RayQC. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.